Hallo und willkommen zur neuesten Folge vom BattlePod. Heute ist das keine normale Folge, nein, wir haben eine Sonderfolge für euch. Und zwar, ich war eingeladen bei einem englischen Podcaster, einem kanadischen, um genau zu sein. Und zwar der BungleTech. Dieser hat Podcaster aus der ganzen Welt interviewt, und zwar ausschließlich BattleTech-Podcaster. Und hierbei nun haltet ihr die Folge mit mir und in der Podcast-Beschreibung gebe ich euch den Link zur kompletten Folge. Da könnt ihr euch auch die anderen anhören. Nun wünsche ich euch viel Spaß und wir hören uns in Kurze mit einer neuen Folge. Danke, ciao. Hey everyone, we are back with, this is pretty exciting, from Germany, EK, from the Battle Pod Podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today and answering some questions. Hi, thanks for the invitation. I'm pretty uh, excited. Excited is, is the right word. Heck yeah. We're both excited, man. Well, thank you for being here and feel free to throw in random German words if you want to, just to confuse our listeners. I'm totally okay with that. I will do it. <laughs> so Battle Pod, how long has your podcast been active for? Our first episode was published on January the 7th, 2018 at 20 o'clock and 40 minutes. So that means you've been around for over five years. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Today I, uh, I looked for when our first episode was and I said, oh, it's a long time ago. Wow, you must be one of the oldest Battletech podcasts out there probably then. And I can say the biggest one in Germany. Also because we are the only one, but... <laughs> this is just so... This is so typical. Germans that have a longer history than North Americans. It's perfect. Ah, I don't know if America has not a, a smaller uh, timeline because they are German, British and uh, all the others. So it's the same history, only we have a little split up. But I think it's the same link. Spoken like a true Battletech brother. So what's the story behind the name of your podcast? No, I can say back in the day at uh, 2018, most podcasts was ended up in Germany with pod. And so I used a battle tag. Oh, what can I use? Oh, battle. Oh, battle pod. It's a good name. Back in the day, it was that people talk about podcasts. It's always a pod. So if we combine our podcast together. We would literally just become Battletech. Yeah, oh my God, we can create a new podcast with us working together called Battletech. Oh man. That's nice. Amazing. <laughs> so what does your podcast aim to bring to the community? So you say you're the biggest podcast in Germany for Battletech because you're the only podcast for Germany in Battletech, but you've been around for a really long time. I'd love to know what your focus is on bringing stuff to the community. My personal focus was I like the law of Battletech. And then back in the day, I talked to a, a friend of mine, a storyteller is his name in the community, and um, he know everything about Battletech and the history. And I said, okay, I want to know more about the history. And then we say, okay, we will do it. And it was uh, our first episode. We talked about what we will do and a little about the first history and then we get our third host Hoshi he's from Austria he also know really really much about the history and our last host is uh, Onai and it is really nice that we have him because before every episode he will read the source books so at first we take a little look at the timeline overall just from the beginning to after the uh or to the ill clan we don't talk about ill clan yet but we will and after we talked about just only for the history what happens then we have talked about the history of the houses we have already talked about steiner we talked about um, the marek 
Marek was uh, not our loveliest history because every couple of years some Marek leader killed another one or died in an accident. Yeah, so with many names, it was not the loveliest history podcast, but um, yeah, we liked it and we know more about Marek now. And um, also we talked about the Dragon House, uh, Kurita, my friends and co-hosts, they are also in a Battletech clan, the 36 Dyrin Regular, but uh, Kurita. And so that was our first, we want to talk about the history and bring the history to the community. And also um, I want to know more about the history because I'm not so deep in the history. And so that's also why I don't prepare very much because I can ask more dumb questions and then over the time we talked also about the mac warrior online uh, mac warrior 5 um, the battle take hard green scheme game and we will talk about everything that will happen um, not long ago the german reseller of battle take lost the license and at the moment we don't have a german reseller so we only have the english products and it's quite interesting what will follow after that. Interesting. So you're basically, everything on your podcast summarized is really focused on a historical view on Battletech. Be that in the lore or be that in the actual real world right now we live in, in terms of the actual games that exist or the production issues of the franchise. We talked about both. Because we don't want to talk only about the in-game history. And we all love Battletech and we all don't like the license uh, history and the actual <laughs> license. Also with computer games is here, MacWarrior Online got another license. Uh, they can't use the tabletop license minis and so on. And then with the, I don't know the name, the, the, the baddie of the Battletech history who also go to court uh, uh, most times and don't make something with the with his license i don't know the the name at the moment uh harmony gold would be really nice if they say okay here you got the license and we make a good deal and we have more of the old uh, tabletop models that was many in the germany want to have the the old ones where they grow up but uh, we got new ones they're also cool so what makes your podcast unique? I think the history, just that we will talk about history from, I don't know, what's the first year? I said 2030 or, or so was the first um, in the Battletech history. And then we go from there to, uh, yeah, to the Ilkhan area. And that's our unique, the history. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Nothing comes to mind about a podcast that specifically focuses on history. I know there's podcasts that focus on stories. There's podcasts that focus on the history specific of mechs, but there's nothing that really goes through the timeline like what you're sort of explaining. So that's pretty cool. All right, the question of the day, because our podcast is themed on making mistakes, I just have to ask this question to everybody. What is your favorite Battletech bungle? I've got two. One out game, you know, you have the small laser and the yeah. large laser. And in Germany, the translation to small laser was leichter laser. And the large laser is the schwere laser. So schwer is uh, for heavy and leicht is uh, for light, not heavy. When you talk about the smaller laser, SL is your large laser, LL. So it was uh, the same two, uh, two letters for different lasers. You talk about a large laser, we talk about a small laser. And that was my um, favorite Battletech bungle out game. And in game, my personally is that uh, Kerensky just leave and not rebuild everything or make it a dem democracy. Or so it would. then we don't have the many wars what are cool. Sometimes I think it would be nice if he first tried and then go away. That is so funny. That is like a hugely political statement because you're basically saying you're saying that the exodus was a bungle. <laughs> that's hilarious. I know many people would agree with you. I know many people would agree with you. But that's, that's deep. That's deep, man. And I love the language translation bungle of the, of the small laser. That's, that's freaking cool. 
And so much stuff like that must happen. The German translation of the Max was there as well. So um, I just don't know the, the, the German words in the beginning because at the moment, uh, the last translator, they used also the English names. But at the beginning, we just got different names. So we don't really know what you are talking about because our Mac got a really different name. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is, we have the clan names, we have the inner sphere names in the West. And then in the East, there's going to be different clan name and inner sphere names. That's crazy. We got to do a podcast episode just dedicated to this. We're going to do it. Well, on the topic of mechs, what is the best mech and why? The best mech. For me personally, it's the catapult. I love LRMs and I love the design of the catapult. I don't really know why, but it's the first mech is where I get my love to Battletech. It was the, the catapult, so I love them still. And also the second best is uh, the Steiner Scout Lance. Oh, God. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd bring that up. You had to represent Germany. So is there a specific variant of the catapult? It's just the base variant of the catapult that you think is the best? I like all of them. PPCs or LIMs. I love the LIMs more, but I like the PPC variant as well. So what I'm hearing from you is the catapult is the best mech because you like the catapult. Yes. And that's as fair as it can be, baby. Thank you for your honesty. And thank you for coming on to do this interview really quick. It was amazing. I definitely want to have a more detailed conversation in the future. For people that want to listen to you, where can they find you? Just type in Battleport and we will be on the first side of uh, Google at the other search engine. I'm also referenced as uh, Der Dicke Preuße. It's uh, the, the heavy Prussian, you could say. And um, it was my first main podcast and that's uh, uh, under podcast. It's my biggest podcast. Just type in uh, Battleport and you can also type in uh, Der Dicke Preuße, but I think Battleport will do it. Rock on. Thank you very much, good sir, for your time. Hope to make a new episode with you, your host and uh, my co-host. So, das war nun die Folge. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß dabei. Ich wünsche euch noch einen schönen Tag, schönen Abend und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao. Inspection successful. Well, everybody, this podcast has been terminated. But rest assured, the Battletech podcast will be back shutting down